Hello, everybody. Welcome to Until Dawn. I'm going to play a round of this. Um, it's a long game, so I'll go ahead and just get started. I wanted to play it today, but I ended up streaming and then taking up time doing other things. And so now it's a little bit late, so I'm just going to do one episode for now. Enough for me to get enough footage for the week, and then tomorrow I might decide to record more. I don't really know. We'll see. I'm wearing my new Axolotl shirt. I think it's adorable. Um, it's a vibe, so uh, I'm going to try and keep the positive vibes going. I don't know what to expect. Apparently there's bonus content, which I, of course I can't view yet because I haven't played the game. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't even started playing the game. I don't know what to expect. I had to create a PlayStation Now account in order to even play this. Yes, I know there's a workaround, but I'm lazy. And so, here we are. Devastating hurricane. Yes, I'm a huge fan of the butterfly effect. Why did the audio cut out? I love this so far. Yes, I this what I until dawn is the reason I know about the butterfly effect and why I love the I concept and idea of the butterfly effect. I love it so much. Also, you can see my shirt better now. Look at that. Look at that cutie. Your sword. It's hype that uh, Until Dawn's here, finally, on PC. It took years. It got to the point where I just didn't care about playing it anymore on... on PC. Because they had released so many games prior to that. Like, they went through a whole Dark Pictures season of stuff before launching this game. It's crazy. Absolutely insane. I don't need to know that she's panting. I d the, the, I like the way how I would like to mention too. The, the dialogue for um, QTE scale. I don't care. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. QTEs. I completely forgot about those. Um, aim, there's aim assist? What are these options? Where's my board? Where's my... Subtitle. Well, there's subtitle. There's speech language. There it is. Closed captions. Character efforts will be displayed. I just care about the speech. We don't care about the efforts. We don't care about any of that. We just we just care about the speech. I like the way they give an example here, but while um, whatever. I don't know. While it was giving me like the menu of stuff, it didn't give me an example of what to expect. Whatever. It's been so long since I've seen Until Dawn. So very long. A moment in the story, you'll be under pressure. Press WASD or left stick. Oh. What does that mean? Oh my god, you got to keep it is you have to keep it in the bar? What do you mean? Oh I see, I see, I see. Oh that's gnarly. That's crazy. So what is that, a, a hold your breath section? Is that what that is? Huh.
Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. I'm gonna make that smaller. Hold up. Cause I, do I move my face cam up to the top left? Out of the way of everything? I kinda need I kinda want to, but I don't know like I'll just keep it as this for now. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Deserves it. I'm gonna move my face cam. She has a huge crush on Hannah. I've been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. Move it out of the way. Even though you can't really see my face, because it's just always just so dark in here, dude. Prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Ooh, I get to play. It's a bit dark in here, I will say. Like, holy cow, I do not think YouTube's gonna be able to see Jack in here. That's not the kitchen. It looks good, though. Like, I ain't complaining. Like, whoa. I'm getting like I don't even recall it's fun hanging out with you even knowing to feel like you do come find me I'll be waiting like oh my god what did our naive sister get herself into now These copyrighted, by the way. Hold up, there's a lot of questions I have, like audio-wise, streamer mode. What do you mean it's not on automatically? Oh dear lord, I hate games, dude. <laughs> it muted the music instantly. They didn't even have a replacement. Oh my god. Oh dear. They don't 
don't even have the... I mean, fair enough. I mean, some games have problems where they just can't replace the music. It's still copyrighted. But... Dude, that's so funny. That's actually hilarious. It's still got, like, the sound effects and everything. I still think this is stupid. Like, a whole group of people knowing this and then just teasing her for it. Also, if it was the whole group of people, why would you care so much? Right? I don't know. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Jerks. You know that? Hannah! I mean, at least it didn't get too serious. Yeah, I'm waking Josh. Even though he's probably drunk. She wants to see right now, right? Hannah! These people suck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Makes me wonder if we should keep them alive or not. If I should do a, uh, all survivors, uh... Survive playthrough, or if I should just play the game as it is. Like I have been. Although the last time I did that, I got one character killed, and that was like the one character I needed to survive. Oh, lag, crash, don't crash, please. Oh my god. Like, I can see them trying to be innovative, and I like it a lot. Like, or not innovative, but like, this was stuff that Heavy Rain and... Beyond Two Souls was doing was, like, making their stuff a lot more interactive. With, like, these HUD icons and everything. I love it. Honestly. I really like that in my choice-based games. I really do. It's awesome. I'm, like, getting these, like, little micro Anna? QTEs. I I've had worse. I've had worse. Come on. You can do better, game. This game has been known for its jump scares, too. So, we'll see if they get me. I don't recall this cabin. I don't recall a lot of these, like, open sections. Or not open sections, but, like... 
I don't recall the cabin looking like this. I don't recall there being a cabin out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm actually kind of excited to see like what changes they made. Because this is interesting. I don't recall a cabin. I mean, keep in mind, I only watched a playthrough. I think it was Pews that I watched. I also may have watched Mark play it. Okay, I have to move the, the, the flashlight myself. Whoa! What the... Seems a bit extreme to set the house on fire. Make uh, correct input W. We have QTEs. Let's go. Fast. Really? Fast? There's only one QTE? Follow footsteps. Footsteps are where people definitely were. Unless they're not people footsteps. Why do you keep running? You're in the snow. You're in the middle of winter. You're freezing right now. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. <laughs> Stop being an idiot. It's so dumb. I would just run back towards the cabin and hope I don't run into the thing. I wouldn't continue to run away from the cabin either. It's a lot more locale. Oh my god, the phone is gone. Yeah, these are a lot more locales than I remember. That's a cliff. And I wouldn't, I, I, yeah, that, that exact thing. I'm going to let go. I'm sorry! And then I also go to... It doesn't matter. Oh my god. Complete the prologue. I got a trophy unlocked. I'm getting trophies for my PlayStation account that I don't have a PlayStation for. Oh my god, this is funny. Oh, and here we go. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom. This revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? How kind of you. <clears throat> All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the cart? 
And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Staring at me like that. What in the world? I see a farm and a scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I'm happy. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm happy happy, but it looks neat. In what way did it make you happy? It's peaceful. I mean... Uh. Besides the scarecrow, but it is what it is. Here, all by yourself. Nah. And why is that? I'd be lonely. Oh. Well, there is a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness. Isolation. <laughs> to say isolation like that, bro? We need to explore further. Don't you agree? I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Until the next session, try to surround yourself with friends. In a place that makes you feel safe. Until dawn. Note that if I get a copyright strike for this song, it lied to me. Because I told it to mute all of that music after I realized there was music. Ooh, the saw traps. I'm actually, I actually can't wait for the saw traps. Be interesting. We haven't had a game this choice based that is saw related. Honestly? Give Super Liminal, like, uh, the rights to saw for a little bit so they can make a game for it? Dude, that'd be sick as hell. That'd be so good. For the, for the game, or for, like, uh,. Give another outlet for John Kramer to do more acting. Is that the name of the character? I think I just named the character. And not the actor. I haven't kept up with the most recent Saw series. I watched the first seven films, but not the newer ones. I haven't gotten around to it. But dude, that'd be sick, honestly.
first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I can't imagine going back after the events of, like, one means, year, right? It means so much to me that we're doing this, and I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e, each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for... For the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> Chapter one. Memento Mori, 10 hours until dawn. And his best friend. Diljit consider it brave. Oh wow. It's not automatic like in the other games. Hello? Someone there? Path to Cable Car Station, 1902. So that would make it. Really? Four hours. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. I was gonna say. It's still a bit late, though. Like, really? Couldn't have come any sooner? Oh, what? Gates busted. Climb over. Uh, Josh Washington. Vancouver Central. 111 B leaves. From Chris directions. Uh, I don't care. Quick. We go quick with it. Jump. We go quick with it. We hit those. I ain't afraid. I can hit QTEs like nobody's business. Aww. Hey, little fella. Hi, squirrel. Are you hungry? Huh? We like squirrels. Let's go. These totems look bigger than I recall them being. I remember being able to stare into them. Uh, black ones mean death, ward of dangerous events, foretold the tragedy affecting friends, help and guidance, white brought dreams of good fortune, and green is just apparently good, I'm guessing.
I, however, have not seen a single totem yet. Which perhaps makes me think that I missed one somewhere. Maybe on the ground. I don't know. Speaking of which... Gotcha. That's interesting. You have to actually dig for them. A guidance totem. You don't just look into them anymore. That's interesting. It's funny how I'm playing through a lot of the remakes that people are coming out with. Like, I don't support... Like, I am fine with remaking games, but... They're so... <laughs> Uh, but there's, like, so many remakes coming out as of late. It's crazy. You know... I guess this one was long foretold, though. Like, it had such a popular press to it. They remade it for PlayStation 5 and for PC. Oh, wanted. Victor Milgram. I want to scroll, but it won't let me. What? Yeah, I'm using my mouse wheel, and it's not letting me scroll, which I think is funny. Uh, but anyway... Connection with first-degree arson and offense, as well as various death threats. With information regarding this dangerous criminal, should contact BPMC as soon as possible. I guess there really isn't anything to scroll. Fair enough. Ooh, we got an ammo box and a shotgun. Is that not a shotgun this time? I remember in the original it was, but not like it bothers me too much now that it's not. Got the smoker right here, or the grill. Missing out on the opportunity to make some good meat, you know. I'm just saying. Look at the snow trail. Neat little add-on effect. This is Chris's bag. You're not in the bag, are you? What do we have here? Eh, close the bag. Maybe I should have some fun girls down. Chris? Sam. Any of your business? Loyal protective humorous. Oh, so found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. W where? Right around here. It's going to blow your mind. <laughs> yeah, it's a shooting range. Beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? That's my exact question. Dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here goes.
absolutely bopping everything. I'm great at the shooter game. I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got jacked. <laughs> Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Rats with bushy tails. We're gonna harm wildlife for a stupid shooting gallery segment. What? Man, what are you, crazy? Definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah. Oh, okay, cut dialogue then. Doors locked. Yeah. Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. That's creepy. Other people sleeping in the station now? Oh, we old gentlemen. Where's our ride? You said it was coming. That would explain it. Why is there a camera pointed in the tub of the... What? Why? What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. Only bottom mountain. Fair enough. Giant and black wood floor. Oh, shut up. Oh, just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Yeah. This is the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no. He definitely did. I haven't seen you so excited about something in forever. Good, good. <laughs> good. 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 Tell me something, right? I was kind of being worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. All here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed, but the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Amazing. So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. <laughs> to this day? In heaven. If it weren't for the fact Gene Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off the training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. There it is. Waited for him to say that.
Jess, Mike's girlfriend. Outgoing, driven, impulsive. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Could you please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, thanks, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. Stall muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Michael and Monroe. What kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. I'm with Mike now. I'm split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. Ebbs out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. <laughs> um, actually, I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. <laughs> Oh, pretty. Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the evil car ends? Mad's girlfriend, intelligent, resourceful, forthright. I don't think it would have been like as pretty, you know. Matt, Emily's boyfriend, a Obliging, dependable, and active. And where's the bellboy when you need one? I haven't seen any negative character traits being presented by the little statistics every time it pops up. Oh. Yeah. Kind of saddening a little bit. I kind of, I kind of miss that. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. Not, not like in the original, but like they, uh, they did stuff for. Oh my God. They did that for uh, some of the games on the Dark Pictures anthology. Je uh, Jess's boyfriend, Brave Through and Charisma. Michael! You really, really do see your faces right there. Dude, I almost blocked you just now. Nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Guys! Woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Try to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. I'm just gonna keep everything at ease. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now. And move on, okay? Yeah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good? You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're totally gonna make out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna uh. check on the cable car back on the trail. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you... Take these the rest of the way. The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. Just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Oh, there you go. I don't care. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse at the rest of the way but you owe me one excuse me well the more even at least i'll think about it just be careful see you up there sweetie thank you
That's a crush on Chris. Sort of scare you, but not like for real. Oh my scare you. gosh! Oh my god! Hey, wow, man, I'm I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... let me check it out. No. Take a look. Um, sure. Uh, go uh, go ahead. Knock yourself out. I guess. Just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God damn it. Matt. This causing a little bit of chaos amongst the group here. I'm gonna read a book. Okay. <laughs> you did not just do that. Put your hand where I can see him. We got you, Serena. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Get hit! Get sniped. I'm gonna purposely get hit. Hi, little birdie. Hello. Come on. Hey, Mike. Boom, shakalaka. No, you got me. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, it's on me now. Doing you nothing. Hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. I don't want to throw the bird. I don't want to hurt the bird. The bird's just doing his own thing. And gotcha. <laughs> and then what? Oh, no more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Them for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <laughs> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah, it's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. I was getting dark out. We have a special guest star with us. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? Right. 
trust. Thank you for the light. I think we needed it. In the company of good friends since our last session. This time we're going to try to understand the roots of your anxiety. Oh, please do. I need that. Pick up that book. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. I... Women? I don't know. You, I, I mean, I don't really per particularly have an interest. It's particularly the person themselves. Uh, cr I don't like crowds, but I've never been... I mean, I don't like crowds for a fact, but I've never been on a plane. So... Fear of heights, fear of drowning. I don't really... You're gonna have to go into more detail on this one for me, because I feel like falling would be instantaneous. Drowning would be actually kind of bad. Like... You would suffocate rather than instant splat, but that's not the question. It's like, how, what, these are two completely different things. Heights are different from drowning. But I'm gonna go with drowning. Drowning is dying. Neither one of these scare me. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna have to give it to rats, because I know someone with snake. Snakes are cool. Snakes are really cool. Oh, shit. This is actually a really good question. Like, dude, knives would hurt so much more. But guns would be instantaneous. I'm gonna go with being cut and stabbed. I feel like that would do so much more damage than a bullet. Probably hurt more. I don't like cockroaches. I prefer a rat over a cockroach, honestly. That one's a no-brainer. The clowns? Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. Crows aren't scary. I'm going go with gore. Oh. Did that startle you? Not really. Doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I'm being dead honest. These are these are all my honesty. Cockroach is worse. Spiders are kind of chill. Like some of them, like they really aren't that bad. Uh, Gore disgusts me. Needles are meh. I've, I've gotten my flu shot consistently. I mean, needles are kind of bad, but... These clowns are worse. Zombies are, like... They're grotesque and disgusting, but they're slow. I don't fear dogs. I like the way how a lot of this is just going back to the same question of gore. Storms don't scare me. I mean, the sudden loud noises do, but then themselves don't. Why did a lot of it go back to and gore? Diligence. <laughs> Cockroaches, clowns, and awful. The sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Whatever you say, boss. I've been playing so much choice-based stuff. I just stream. Did I, did I mention I streamed earlier? I beat The Walking Dead Season 1 on stream earlier. That's what I spent my time doing. <laughs> What's that? Chapter 2. Jealousy. Nice. Nine hours in total. Love that. Well, yeah, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb. Okay, I have to end it here. Oh, I need to see if I've got like some sort of continue option.
Oh, damn. It went right back into it. Holy cow. Well, that's not what I wanted, but it's what I got, so... You know what? We'll take it. Yeah, right right into chapter two. Anyway, I gotta leave this episode off here. I've recorded for long enough. I gotta go order some food. Um, but I'm glad I started it. Um, I'm gonna be doing this and Dead Rising back to back with maybe a little bit of extra stuff here and there to kind of spice things up. But once I get through Dead Rising, I think I'm gonna get to uh, Alan Wake. And then once I get through Until Dawn, I might start back up a Call of Duty series or Battlefield series. I need to start playing those games again. I have not played those games in months. Uh, but I need to start picking them back up and running them again. In the meantime, if you've got a suggestion, leave it down in the comment section for me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>